Yes. Do you have an ex-London permit? Yes. Can you get Sunday afternoon? Yes. Take this. George Orwell's 1984 is one of the world's best-known novels with its portrayal of a totalitarian state where a mysterious big brother eavesdrops on everyone, where history is rewritten, where lies replace truth, where people lose their individual identity, where having sex is a crime against the state. And in this awful world, we follow the fortunes of one Winston Smith, a timid everyman, and his battle to remain a rebel in this world, to remain an independent thinking person. Here's the scene where Winston Smith and a similarly minded female rebel joins him for a taboo personal encounter. Let me show you what I've brought. Look. What is it? Real sugar. Not saccharin. And I've got a loaf of bread, proper white bread. And jam. A real tin of milk. Milk. Coffee. Real coffee. In a party, half a kilo. How did you manage to get hold of all this? Oh, there's nothing those bastards don't have. Aren't you pleased? Yes. Yes, of course. That was John Hurt as Winston Smith and Susanna Hamilton, a real find there, quite appealing as Julia. 1984 has been filmed twice now. This second version is better than the first, but despite all the artistry involved, the bleak sec decoration you could see there, the noble performances, it still left me unmoved, as if I were watching it all at a distance. And that even applies to the fine, burned-out performance by the late Richard Burton in his last big screen role, playing a member of the ruling party who tries to brainwash the last bit of humanity out of Winston Smith. Do you remember writing in your diary, freedom is the freedom to say two plus two equals four? Yes. How many fingers am I holding up, Winston? Four. And if the party says there are not four, but five, then how many? Five. Burton is very good in this picture, and that's not just because it's his last performance and it feels tragic to us. But why didn't this film work for me? Why isn't it the horrifying experience that Orwell's book is? Why is it even boring and repetitive at times? My only guess is that the film is too respectful of the book. Everyone seems to be acting as if they're associated with a classic. And there are absolutely no surprises in either the film's tone or style. It's all of a piece. The world is dark and gray. The ruling state is bad. Can Winston survive? And then the movie's over. And I sat there admiring many of its individual elements, but by its whole, basically unmoved. Well, there we have a real big disagreement because mm -hmm. I felt it was a real good movie and I didn't feel it was too respectful to the novel. What I felt was that they had found their own vision of 1984 mm -hmm. and that, oddly enough, it looked a lot more like, let's say, post-war England than it would mm -hmm. look like the 1984 of a more futuristic movie right. like the original 1950s version. Right. This is a movie that's made out of old junked cars, out of smashed office furniture, out of mm -hmm. burned out radio tubes, out of people who really make you feel that that strawberry jam and that uh, little tin of coffee are important to them. So that I did feel that this was a world of totalitarian crushing right. kind of... Well, I want to tell you what, what happened to me. Uh, it's a, and it's amazing to me. You know that famous television commercial made for Macintosh computers yeah. that ran in the uh -huh. Super Bowl, uh -huh. which is a parody of 1984. Right. I thought that that, com that one-minute commercial contained everything that this movie contained. Mm -hmm. And as a result, as I sat there watching it, I thought, well, I know what this is all about. And I knew what this movie was all about from its first frame to its last frame. I, good actors, honorable film. So what? Is I, I think you're really missing the boat on it, Gene. I think that it's a good movie, and I feel that uh, the director, Michael Radford, has really done a great job of visualizing this material in an original way. Good performances. You like Richard Burton. I, I like John Hurt. No, I, I, that's too noble for me. But at any rate, go ahead. Surrounded. The house is surrounded. 
we may as well say goodbye. You may as well say goodbye. While we're on the subject, here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes a chopper to chop off your head. <laughs>